Going home, Michelle, thank you. New at 6 o'clock, a neighborhood alert. Coyote sightings in broad daylight in areas where families live. Those animals spotted in the Katy and Fulcher areas. Channel 2, Sophia Ojito, live in Cinco Ranch tonight. And Sophia, we're talking about multiple sightings here. That's right, Christine, multiple sightings and wildlife experts. They just want to remind people coyotes live among us and people shouldn't be afraid. They should be aware and follow some basic tips. Neighbors have caught more daytime sightings of coyotes recently in the Katy and Fulcher area. One man catching this drone footage near homes in Pine Mill Ranch. Many telling Channel 2 the coyotes they encounter either keep moving or just go about their day. It just sat there in the sun, just sunbathing almost, and was just minding its own business. Like the coyote didn't come at us or anything like that. It just you know looked at us and went down in the covert. Wildlife experts say they don't want to get close to humans. They're usually looking for food, but they could go after smaller pets. This little dog, Zebo, was attacked by two coyotes back in February. But we are so grateful that he's still with us. It's no more walking without the leash. He is close to us all the time. There's some things you can do to be smart when you're living in areas where lions are, just like things you can do to be smart when you're living in areas where coyotes are. Experts say don't feed coyotes, don't leave food outside, keep your animals inside, and keep your dogs on a leash. People have to learn how to co- habitate with animals that are in the area. I basically, I feel that we're in their territory. I'm fine with them around. And Kevin Hodge says that if you ever encounter a coyote, do not run. Stand your ground, make yourself big. You can clap, you can yell, and then back away slowly. Reporting live in Katy, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.